Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. Hey, I realize I'm a little late with this video, and I think I told you that uh, my next one that I release would be a YouTube shop student um, video. Um, dealing uh, with, uh, with a spacer, uh, spacer ring for the back plate and uh, uh, doing the uh, back plate for the uh, three jaw and then probably coming back in and finishing up the back plate for the four jaw chuck. Um, <clears throat> but uh, my wife and I decided that uh, we needed a little break and uh, we took a, a trip to St. Augustine, uh, Florida. Um, very interesting place uh, to, to visit and uh, had, a, had a good time and while I was down there had the opportunity to uh, meet up with um, Richard for making something from nothing uh, who sent me home with a few gifts and I want to show those to you and, and I'm very appreciative and uh, and I got some other uh, big news I want to share afterwards so let me get the camera in position and uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, these goodies here that uh, that Richard's sitting back with me so I'll see you here in just a second so I uh, got to meet up with uh, Richard for making something for nothing and a uh, very uh, interesting guy. He got a lot going on and a uh, whole lot of fun to hang out with. Unfortunately, I didn't really get uh, uh, much time to hang out with him, but I, I, did I did take a picture and I'll post that up here in, in just a minute. But uh, Richard said, hey, while you're here, I got some stuff that I'd like to give you. And uh, it's been, you know, it's going to be a big help uh, to my shop. So the first thing was he gave me a Jacob's Chuck. Now... I have a uh, chuck for my uh, tailstock, but the chuck is um, its a little Chinese knockoff. This is a Genuine Jacob, so I'm really excited about that. I'll have to get a number um, number two uh, Morse taper so it'll fit in the uh, tailstock, but uh, that is awesome. So Richard, thank you for that. Richard also gave me a pen chuck, so this would be handy for... Um, uh, small drills uh, in the tail stock, so that's that's going to be great. I need to see if I can find a key for it. Um, that is awesome. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Richard, give me a scriber. Uh, this is one that he made. I uh, thought he'd pass that along, and that's going to come in handy. And he give me a uh, he give me a uh, T handle for uh, tap handle. So that was great because I didn't have one. All I got is uh, wrenches. And he give me some high speed steel. And he gave me a scriber stand. This is pretty cool. And Richard also uh, donated a mic to me. Now, I had a mic, and I told uh, Richard that I did. I said, but uh, the mic that I have, and see if we can focus on that. See, it has like a, a point. Now, the bottom anvil is flat, but this uh, anvil is, is conical. And I don't know why that is. Um, but anyways, I've had this forever. This was given to me years ago um, by a guy I used to work with. Um, and it's kind of sometimes hard to uh, measure on round stock when you got that little pointy anvil there. So, uh, so the mic that uh, Richard gave me, you know, it's got flat anvils on both ends, and and I think that uh, that did me pretty good. So, uh, thank you very much, Richard. And the other thing is, is he gave me a <clears throat> a graphite crucible. Uh, this is a nice, very very nice crucible. Um, I'm going to use this exclusively for melting brass. So. That is awesome. So look for that in the future um, when it warms up and the rain, the winter rain stops, uh, we can do some metal casting. So um, Richard, again, hey uh, buddy, it was great meeting you. Uh, enjoyed hanging out in your shop and, and looking at your tools and, and just talking shop talk and, and all that stuff. And, uh, and I hope, hope I get to, uh, hope I get to hook up with you again. And again, I'll pop up a picture of Richard and I here uh, somewhere during this video. But now, <clears throat> I have some other news. So let me reset the camera and let me sit down and talk about that. A couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by uh, a YouTube subscriber who um, asked uh, if I'd be interested in uh, some pieces of shop equipment that uh, he was willing to donate to the channel. And uh, I said, yeah. So um, those have been delivered and uh, uh, they are in pieces. Uh, one is... Uh, a much more of a project than another that I'm hoping that uh, my son's going to take on. Uh, but again, I hope to make uh, videos uh, uh, over this uh, over that project. But uh, uh, this man who uh, uh, asked to be uh, remain anonymous, so uh, we'll just we'll just call him Sir. <laughs> so Sir, thank you very much. Uh, th this man uh, donated a um, Burke number four horizontal milling machine, 
and uh, he donated a uh, an old Lo a Logan lathe. Now I'm not sure the model of the Logan lathe. It's uh, it's in pieces. Actually, both parts are in pieces, uh, but it looks like all the pieces are there, um, mostly so that they can be moved um, easily, uh, you know, by one person. So uh, I'm going to set up the camera, and I'm or actually I'm just going to pick up the camera. So hopefully I don't make you too seasick, and uh, we'll get some video of it and. And uh, we'll go from there and, and we'll talk about, you know, what these two machines are and, and what I plan to do. So uh, let, me get, uh, let me get the camera picked up and we'll get recording and I'll show you what we got. So again, uh, sir, uh, you're a wonderful benefactor. Thank you so much for donating to the, to the uh, channel. And I, and I hope that uh, I uh, kind of prove myself that uh, uh, we'll, we'll get these machines together and running and, and make a series of videos on doing it. And uh, and we share with everybody else. So th thank you very very much. So all right. So let me uh, let me get the camera and we'll uh, we'll start recording. Okay. So hopefully I don't get you all dizzy here. But what we have here is a uh, Burke uh, number four horizontal milling machine. Um, of course it isn't it isn't parts, but all the parts are here. Uh, what you see there is the milling machine with the knee and the overarm support. And then down there in that tube is the lead screw for the uh, X slide. There's the uh, X table. Over here is the slide for the uh, for the Y. And then this is the it's upside down. But there's the motor um, motor mount. Uh, here's a, a plate. This is not the original motor that goes to it, but there's a plate that was modified and a, and a motor. And then over here in this box are all the uh, assorted bits. There's the uh, auto feed, the auto feed linkage, um, the pulley handles, um, and everything that goes to it. So, <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is uh, build a, a small bench for this uh, to sit on, and we're going to pull it apart. And and uh, I think uh, this one, this time, I think instead of uh, just uh, making it mechanically sound, I'm going to go ahead and take the time to strip, de rust, and paint too. So. Thought you guys would appreciate that. Um, the other item, the Logan lathe, is uh, uh, still uh, it's in my van, so uh, um, it's dark outside, so I won't really be able to uh, record it. But um, we'll uh, we'll try and see what it is, and if it shows up, great. Um, if not, then I just won't include it in this video, and then you'll see that it's not here. But I'll see. I, I'll. Uh, I'll zoom in. I'll uh, at least uh, try to video it in my van. Hopefully there's enough light. So uh, give me just a second and we'll go out there and take a look. Okay, guys, I realize that this isn't the best light in the world, but what we have here is a uh, Logan lathe. I think this is a 10 inch by um, 24 inch between centers. Uh, it's quite rusty, but everything is free and move and moves. Uh, all the parts are here. Um, so over here we have the apron, The uh, well, let me back up here. So the uh, cross slide and the uh, compound are there. They're free. They move. The saddle is off of it, but the saddle is in the uh, in the box here, and all the bits and parts to the saddle are right here in, in this tub. I've checked that. Uh, tail stock, head stock, back gears are underneath. Uh, over here we have the other foot and the gear cover. Back here we have the counter shaft, and I realize this is a little red, so can't really do much about that. Um, but we'll get we'll get better shots later. And then in the bucket, of course, are the uh, uh, bits and pieces for the uh, change gears. There's the uh, uh, quill for the um, tail stock and the tail stock nut, the bearing clamps, and everything is here. So um, my son uh, Zachary is wants to do this project. He's really excited. I give him the choice of taking it home and he can do it at his place, but he said no. He'd uh, rather do it here, and maybe we can get a few videos of that. Uh, it's a nice lathe. Um, like I said, it's rusty. Uh, it's rusted, but it's uh, mostly surface rust. I think all this is going to come off, so we're going to do some electrolysis. Oh, by the way, the lead screw is laying down here beside it. And the amazing part about this lead screw is there is, there is no wear on it. Um, but we'll examine that closer. And like I said, I just want to spend a couple minutes and, and uh, again, thank the gentleman who uh, called me and said, uh, he wanted to donate uh, some stuff to the channel. I appreciate it. So let me get back inside where we have some light and and, uh, and I got one more uh, person I want to thank who uh, um, 
has sent stuff to me before but sent me a package and uh, didn't tell me about it so it was a surprise when I went out to the mailbox to get it so we'll be uh, right back okay so anyway uh, I realized the view of the lathe wasn't that good but um, you got to see the milling machine uh, the horizontal mill machine um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that so I got one last thing here so I, I uh, go out to the mailbox and uh, I find this box and it's from Mr. Steve Erbach uh, this gentleman has made some stuff for me and and uh, he uh, he had been emailing me and he was showing me pictures of uh, a uh, of a uh, dial upgrade that he'd done Let me set this over here and uh, you know he had stamped it and well I said uh, that's a great project I said uh, I'd like to do something like that to myself because I have a hard time reading the di dials you know I'm old blind and I got these floaters and, and you know how it is when when you start getting older and um, so he sent me his stamping jig so um, uh, assuming that I have uh, stamps to size and I have a set of stamps but I think they're a little bit bigger but you know it would be worth buying a uh, quarter inch uh, wide stamps and then he sent me the dial that he made that he messed up um, I think that uh, he he double stamped one of these or, or something but anyway he uh, d to give me an ex example but actually this one you know almost looks good enough to use to me actually it does look good enough to use to me so uh, anyway I'm hoping that uh, see if you can see that so, but the main thing here is that he sent me the jig and he sent me a very uh, uh, kind letter and uh, I'm appreciative of that and uh, hopefully I'm going to put that to use uh, when I do dial upgrade on mine, cross light dial, so that I can see uh, easily see the numbers. So anyway, Stephen, uh, thanks man. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's going to be a help when I get to that project and uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for passing it along and I think when I get mine done, um, maybe that's uh, something we should do. I want to uh, take a uh, maybe my stamps and stamp uh, your initials in the back. And then when I get done with it, I'll stamp my initials in the back. And then maybe we can pass this on to somebody else who wants to do the upgrade and just see how many initials that we can get stamped around this block. That might be kind of a fun thing to do. So uh, anyway, so guys, I'm sorry that I didn't put out the uh, YouTube uh uh, shop student uh, video um, like I said my wife and I decided to take a trip to get away it's been a couple years since we got out of the house and we had an opportunity um, to go to St. Augustine so neither one of us has ever been there and uh, just as a side note if uh, if any of you guys have never been there and decide to go there there is way too much crap to see I mean tons of stuff to see right so uh, start early in the morning uh, try to stay multiple days um, but it was great it was a great great fun trip and uh, hey rich uh, thanks for uh, letting me hang out with you there for uh, you know an hour and and visiting you and and uh, to my uh, anonymous uh, donor uh, thank you sir uh, I, I think that uh, we're gonna have a, a great time putting these machines back together making them run again and uh, now I get to learn how to mill and uh, I'm really excited about that so all right, other than that, have a blessed day.